Today we're going to look at the Mutt Mixer Modeling Online Assignment for those of you that are having a hard time. Before you complete this assignment, you should have already completed the Mutt Mixer Interactive Activity. And please remember that you can always use the Immersive Reader extension if there's words on the screen that you're having a hard time reading or having a hard time focusing on. Please also note that once you move on from a question that you've answered, it locks it so you cannot go back. To start out with, we have some information that we need to read. In sexual reproduction, genes from two parents create variation in offspring. Variation is a different version of something. In this case, we're talking about a trait. How does this happen? Please remember our model of sexual reproduction where we have two parents. They create sex cells, so they half the number of genes so that they can combine to create offspring with the correct number of genes. Half of an offspring genes come from one parent and from the other parent, and that results in a new combination of genes and traits. Now that you've played with the Mutt Mixer, you'll model how random shuffling of parents' alleles lead to variation in the pups. You'll model allele shuffling in two parts. Number one, we're going to randomly distribute alleles into gametes. And number two, we're going to join two random gametes. So from what we just read, what is variation in reproduction? Variation is different versions of and different combinations of traits. The next one also has some information. For each dog in the Mutt Mixer Interactive, you could see the gene allele combinations. For example, for the ear gene, a dog could have two floppy alleles, two pointed alleles, or one of each. So this is showing an example of the ear gene, and the different types of ear genes you could have are called alleles. You could have the floppy allele or the pointed allele for the ear gene. The combination of gene alleles that an individual has is called its genotype. So the, these alleles, if the dog has these alleles, that's its genotype for ears. If a dog had two floppy alleles, then the dog had those large floppy ears. If the dog had two pointed alleles, then it had the pointed ear trait. The combination of traits that an individual has is called its phenotype. So for down here, there's an example of this dog. On the left side, it lists its genotype. These are the genes that it has. These are the alleles that it has. That's its genotype. On the right side, there's a picture of the dog. That's its phenotype. What it looks like, the traits that it has, that's its phenotype. So genotype are the genes and the gene alleles, and the phenotype are its traits. So to make sure you understand that, in the example dog above, the dog's genotype for ears is, well, let's look. For ears, it has a floppy allele and a pointed allele. The, that's its genotype. So that's what we're going to click, floppy and pointed. What about its phenotype? Well, phenotype is its trait. So let's look at its ears and see what it looks like. Doesn't have pointy ears, doesn't have the really long floppy ears. It's got kind of like small floppy ears. So we're going to look. Yeah, it's got those short floppy ears. That's its phenotype. That's the trait that it has. Okay, now that we understand those things, let's make a pup. The first thing that we're going to do is randomly distribute alleles into gametes. Remember that gametes are sex cells. We have a dog here. This is Arlo. We're going to open Arlo's interactive in a new tab so that we can see on a big screen. Okay, we're going to randomly distribute Arlo's genes into gametes. To reproduce, Arlo needs to make gametes. Male gametes are called sperm. He'll make billions of sperm in his lifetime, but we're just going to create three today. We're going to click next. Both copies or alleles of each gene are equally likely to get into a gamete, into the sex cell. So the chance that any allele is in a gamete is 50-50, like the toss of a coin. So we have this animation of a coin to represent that it's completely random. You could get that allele or that allele. We don't get to control it. It's random. So we're going to use the coin toss to represent that. If we get heads, we're going to do the first allele that's listed. And if we get tails, we're going to pick the second allele that's listed. So for example, let's create our first sperm with Arlo. We got a heads when we flip the coin. So for color, we're going to list the first allele that we have listed. 
tan points, and you can see that we have tan points now in the sperm. For the next one, oh, we got heads again. So we're going to put the solid allele into Arlo's sperm. Oh, we got heads one more time. So for dilution, we got a non-dilute because that's listed first because we got heads. So we got non-dilute listed in that sperm. Okay, what about for ear flop? Oh, we got tails for ear flop. So we're going to put the second allele pointed into his gamete. We got tails again for furnishing. So we're going to put the second allele smooth into his gamete. And we're going to get, oh, we got heads for size. So we're going to put that first allele into his gamete. So this is the gamete that we just made just by flipping a coin to pick which allele would get into this gamete, into this sperm. We're going to take that information. We're going to go back to Canvas and it asks you what uh, alleles ended up in Arlo's first gamete. Well, let's see. Tan points, solid, non-dilute. Let's start with those. Tan points, solid, non-dilute. Then let's see, pointed, smooth, and large. Pointed, smooth, and large. So now we've completed the first gamete. We're going to do that again now for two more gametes until we have three. And we'll just click continue. We'll flip a coin to get the second gamete. We'll go through, figure out what we flip, and create a second gamete and do that again. So you're just going to follow that same process for gamete number two and gamete number three. Next, you are also going to do this for a female parent. In this case, we have Missy. Missy is our female parent. We're going to open it up in a new tab so I can show you that it's just like we did for Arlo. We're going to flip a coin. If it's heads, we'll pick the first allele. If it's tails, we'll pick the second allele. So, oh, we got heads first. So we're going to pick the sable allele and we'll put that in her gamete. Female gametes are called eggs. We'll keep flipping that coin to see which traits, or excuse me, which alleles we're putting into her egg. And when we finish that, we'll use that information to put into Canvas. We'll have, we have to type it in this time. So her color, excuse me, her color was sable. So we're going to type in sable. So we're going to go ahead and go down and click next. Okay, now that we've created sperm and we've created eggs randomly, it's also random which sperm and which egg comes together. We don't get to choose which gametes come together to create the puppies. So we're going to go through, let's see, our male parent was Arlo. So we're going to click on Arlo. Here were the sperm that we made for Arlo. And it's going to bring them up and we just get to choose one at random. I'm going to pick this middle one. And we ended up getting Arlo's gamete number one. So that's the one we're getting that we chose from random. Then we're going to scroll down. We had Missy was our female parent. Here are the eggs we made for Missy. And here are three. I'm going to pick ah, this first one. And I got gamete number two for Missy. So we're going to take this sperm and we're going to take, excuse me, we're going to take this egg and we're going to put them together to create a pup that has alleles from the mom and alleles from the dad to create the new puppy. So let's see, we got tan points in color from the dad, wolf gray from the mom, so we're going to put that in. Tan points from the mom, wolf gray from the dad, or other way around. Oh, yeah, dad and mom. Let's see, white spotting. From dad, we got solid. From mom, we got solid. Okay, for dilution, from dad, we got non-dilute. From mom, we got dilute. And dilute. For ear flop, we got pointed from dad, and we got floppy from mom. So hopefully you're catching on that we're putting these together and this table that we're typing in will have the genotype for our new puppy. Now before we move on, we're going to click on the Mutt Mixer Interactive just to see what this puppy would look like. So we're going to click play. We're not going to mix our mutts. We're just using this to demonstrate what our puppy is going to look like. So we'll go to Canvas. Let's see. Our puppy had 
tan points and wolf gray for the color. So we're going to come to color. We're going to click tan points and wolf gray for the color. For white spotting, we had solid and solid. So we're going to change spotting to solid and solid. For dilution, we had a non-dilute and a dilute. So let's go to dilution. We had a non-dilute and a dilute. What did that do for our pup? Not seeing anything there, okay. And then for ear flop, we had a pointed and we had a floppy and it looks like it has it there. Okay, so um, there are two more that we didn't do. You would have to do those on your own pup, but that's what you're doing. So before you move on, make sure you have Mutt Mixer open in a new tab so that you can see what your pup would look like. Then we're going to answer questions about that pup, okay? Remember that phenotype is the combination of traits that an individual has. When we talk about phenotype, we're usually talking about traits that we can see. The possible parents look like this. Our parents were, we had Arlo and we had Missy. We didn't have Rocky and Zipper. So these were our two parents. Your parents, when you're doing this, might be different. Okay, does your pup have different traits than its parents? Well, let's look at our pup. Does it have all the exact same traits as the parents? Well, it looks a lot different than either one of them, right? At least in color. What about ear shape? Let's see, he had short floppy ears, same as mom, but different than dad. Let's see, he has, uh, did he have smooth furnishings? I don't remember. So, no, he doesn't look the same as mom and he doesn't look the same as dad. He doesn't look exactly the same as either one of them. So you're going to answer these questions. Does it have the exact same traits as the male parent, female parent, or both parents? Or does your pup not have any traits different from its parents? Meaning does, does, your, does your pup look exactly the same? You're going to click all that apply. The last part just simply asks you to think about how variation happened in this example. Your pup has a different variation of traits from both of its parents. How did that happen? Think about the genes, think about how the alleles came from each parent and how they combined. And you're going to use that information to answer this question and the last question. If you have any questions about these ones, you can come talk to me anytime you need. I hope that helps answer any questions you had that were confusing about this assignment. I'll see you later.